the fire, send the wind, send the Holy Ghost and power, send the rain, send the fire, send the wind, send the Holy Ghost and power, send the rain. I'm tired of just the same old thing of tradition wearing of a man-made worship hour I'm tired and I'm tired of a song without praise where worship just seems out of place I'm tired of formality you know I'm tired so send the rain send the fire send the wind send the Holy Ghost and power send the rain
Hallelujah. Let's worship him. Amen. Let's praise him tonight. Amen. Let's praise him like we love him. Amen. Let's praise him like we glad about it. Amen. Let's praise him like we are thankful. Amen. For what he has done. Hallelujah. 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 Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. Was it 
crowd gathered round from all over town. They came to see what it was all about. There was a sound that came down from the upper room where the Holy Ghost was being poured out. It sounded just like the roar of a mighty wind as it fell on every one of them. And the wind that blew at Pentecost, praise God, is blowing again. Put your hands together. The wind is blowing again. Come on, come on. The wind is blowing again. Just like the day. Just like the day of Pentecost. The wind. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing. The wind. Blowing again, just like the day, just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. The wind of God is blowing through the world today, as the prophet Joel said it would do. For Peter said on the day of Pentecost, it's for you and your children too. So open up your heart and let the wind blow in and you'll never, never be the same again. For the wind that blew at Pentecost keeps blowing and blowing again. Hallelujah. The wind is blowing again. Hallelujah. The wind is blowing again. Just like the day. Just like the day of Pentecost. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing. The wind is blowing again. Just like the day. Just like the day of Pentecost. The wind is blowing again. There was a crowd gathered round all over town. They came to see what it was all about. There was a sound that came down from the upper room where the Holy Ghost was being poured out. Well. It sounded just like the roar of a mighty wind as it fell on every one of them. And the wind that blew at Pentecost, praise God, it's blowing again. Oh, let's sing it, church. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again, just like the day of Pentecost. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. Hallelujah. The wind is blowing again, just like the day of Pentecost. The wind is blowing again. Go sing it one more time. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again, just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. Oh, yeah. oh go ahead, give the Lord a hand clap of praise for that tonight, amen. I am thankful that the Holy Ghost can still blow in 2012, amen. Amen. Before you're seated, shake the hand of a couple folks around you. Let them know how good it is to see them in the house of the Lord tonight. Thank you, praise team. God is a good God. Can you say amen? Amen. If you were with us this morning, then you know that we are about 12 and a half hours now from lunch in VBS 2012. And we're looking for a great time in the Lord this week. And if you want to work in VBS and you haven't uh, had an opportunity to get a job yet, see Sister Leslie, uh, she will find you a job, I am sure of that. And uh, thank you for all of those that were around campus today, uh, decorating some of the fellowship hall. Most of the fellowship hall has transformed, and uh, the Bible room, uh, they're working on it. Chatter's room has already been transformed, and uh, a lot of work still to be done after church tonight. So if you can stick around and help them, you, you may want to see Sister Leslie. Uh, don't forget that after service tonight, we do have our monthly Journey Fellowship event. Uh, we're going to go quickly to the local McDonald's here on Clark and Silver Star. Because some of you will need to eat quickly and get back to church where you can work. Others of us will be able to linger in fellowship. 
and uh, we'll see what category I fall in, depending on how I feel when I get there. Uh, no, I know that they've got a lot of work still ahead of them, but we did not want to cancel the Journey Fellowship event because it's an opportunity for many of us just to get together over a meal like that outside of the church campus. We have a lot of events here, a lot of eating events here, and uh, that's work, and we know that, and uh, we want to make sure that we have a time just to sit down and talk with you. Amen. I know we've got guys behind the board there. If they could tone it down just a little bit, we will have church. Amen. Amen. I don't know if they're moving back there. They might be having church without us back there. You never know. We can't see them. Holy Ghost might start blowing back that way and just move on out this way. It'll be okay with me. Amen. Amen. I think there's four of them back there tonight, four or five of them. I know it's difficult to play uh, without being able to see, but uh, they've done a pretty good job today. Can you say amen? God's helped them as they have tried their very best to make it as uh, comfortable and as uh, as good as we can, not to build us up, but to give the Lord all the praise, use all of our talents uh, for Him, and they've done that this week, and I'm thankful for that. So good again to see you in the house of the Lord. Vacation Bible School all week this week, 7 o'clock. Every night, doors will open at 6.30. Uh, the home folks, I think you know this, but let me just give a little bit of instruction. Uh, the hallway door will be locked. We need everybody to come in through the main entrance uh, to register, get your name badges, things of that nature. Uh, so we're asking uh, that everybody help us with that, and everybody will meet in this building. Uh, we will launch at 7 o'clock tomorrow night and 7 o'clock every night thereafter. And uh, somewhere around 9 to 10, 9 15, we will say our final uh, dismissal prayer and dismiss the students back to you. So uh, have them here uh, between 6.30 and 7, and then we will launch at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, next Saturday night, the day right after VBS ends, uh, that Saturday night is our solemn assembly prayer time. And I tell you, I would not trade what we have felt around this place last Sunday night and tonight early for prayer. And uh, we've added those prayer times to our calendar as we pray for our camp meeting and for the General Assembly and for our church. Uh, but this coming Saturday night from 6 to 7 is our monthly solemn assembly. And I, uh, I almost looked at the calendar and said, well, we can probably take that off. But, you know, you just there's never, never a good reason to cancel prayer time. I just can't find it in my heart. We need to pray. Can you say amen? And I know some of you will be war slap out after this week, but I'm asking you to push hard for Saturday night, all day next Sunday, all three services next Sunday, and then next Monday night, push on a little bit further for me as we pack this house for Bishop Tim Hill. Dr. Tim Hill will be with us. And then after that, you can take Tuesday night off. Well, not really, because we got prayer meeting and praise team Tuesday night, church Wednesday night, and then I think that Thursday night is the ladies' event. So there's just something, I mean, we're just not going to let you off the hook easy. Uh, we need to get involved and do what we can for Jesus. Amen? Amen. I do ask that you remember Pastor Renfro tonight. He called uh, just about the 5 o'clock hour and is not well in his body tonight. And uh, they may be watching via the Internet tonight. And if they are, want them to know that we miss them and uh, want God to help them. Several of our families have been just struggling with this flu bug going around. Uh, fevers 103, 104. Some have been sick. Even today I heard some that said, man, I just spent most of the week in the recliner or on the couch, just not well. I serve a God that heals. Can you say amen? So let's remember those families tonight as we pray and just ask God to help us in everything that we do. And um, just trust that it will be a great week that God will keep us safe. God will protect us. Uh, God will give us souls. I believe children can come to know Jesus this week through VBS. Amen. And uh, I want to not only touch their hearts, but touch moms and dads and grandmas and grandparents and grandpas and all of that. And, and if we win a family to our church through it, it's worth it all. But if we just win one for the family of God, it'll be worth it all because it's not about this local church so much, but it is about Jesus Christ. And we want to share that message through Vacation Bible School this week. Coach Tim, Pastor Tim is coming. Uh, to lead us in offering. I call him Coach Tim because he works with us around the school. And uh, But I guess in church he's not Coach Tim. And, uh, but uh, he'll come tonight and uh, greet you and uh, lead us into the next part of worship. Pastor Tim. Let's continue in this atmosphere of worship as we prepare to go into offering. As the ushers will please come. Brother Rod. 
Roger to pray over our offering. Oh, stand and sing it with me tonight. Just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away to a land where joy shall never end. Oh, I'll fly away. Oh, fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, oh, I'll fly away, oh, I'll fly away, oh, glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, oh, I'll fly away. And when the shadows of this life have grown, I'll fly away. Like a bird from prison bars has flown, oh, I'll. Are you looking forward to that day? Sing it now. I'll oh, fly away, oh, glory. I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by. Oh, I'll fly away Just a few more weary days And then I'll fly away To a land where joy shall never end Oh, I'll fly away Oh, I'll fly away, oh, 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 I'll fly away, oh, glory, I'll fly away, and when I die, hallelujah, by and by, oh, I'll fly away, well, some glad morning, when this life is o'er, I'll fly away, to a home on God's last shores. Hallelujah for that tonight, Lord Jesus. Sing it, church. Oh, I'll fly away, oh, glory, I'll 
fly away. So I'm glad morning when I die. Hallelujah, bye, bye, oh, I'll fly away. Oh, oh, oh. oh when I die, hallelujah, bye, bye, oh, I'll fly away. Just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away to a land where joy shall never end. Oh, I'll fly away. Well, I'll oh, fly away. Oh, glory, I'll fly away when I die. Hallelujah, by and by. Oh, I'll fly away. Hallelujah, bye and bye. Oh, I'll fly away. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise for that tonight. Hallelujah. Some glad morning when this life is o'er, I'll fly away. Where you going, Pastor? To a home. On God's the last old shore. Oh, I'll fly away. I'll fly away Just a few more weary days And then I'll fly away To a land where joy shall never end Oh, I'll fly Hallelujah. Looking forward to that day. Amen. Looking forward to when I can say goodbye, world. Goodbye. Hallelujah. Looking forward to that day when I can just take me a ride all the way to glory. Hallelujah. Well, just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away. To a land where joy shall never end. Oh, I'll fly away. Well, I'll oh, fly away. for that tonight. Praise your mighty name tonight, Lord Jesus. 
Uh, anybody looking to go to heaven tonight? Anybody looking to see Jesus tonight? Anybody looking for Jesus to come back tonight? Hallelujah. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way. Hallelujah. Tonight, Jesus. I am not ashamed of the Holy Ghost. Can you say amen? Hallelujah, Jesus. One more time, just stretch your hands toward heaven. Ask the Lord to have his way in this place tonight. Praise your mighty name, Holy Ghost of heaven. Not our will tonight, but your will. Not our desire tonight, but your desire, your plan, Lord, your service. Father, I pray tonight that you'll touch hearts and lives. God, that you'll minister tonight. God, that you'll bring us to an altar of repentance and an altar of prayer. Lord, that you'll, Lord, mold us and make us to be like you in every area of our lives. God, that when you do come, we can one more time be rested assured that we will fly away. I'm looking forward to that day, looking forward to that time. Help us tonight, Jesus. Strengthen us. Hallelujah tonight, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Praise your mighty name tonight, Jesus. Praise your mighty name tonight, Spirit of God. Praise your mighty name tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Have your way in this place. Touch hearts and touch lives tonight, I pray. Lord, mend the broken heart and Lord, bring peace and bring comfort tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your mighty name, Jesus. Praise your mighty name, Jesus. Praise your mighty name tonight, Holy Ghost. Lord, this is what we've asked for. We've asked for your presence, God. We've asked your presence, God. Say it just tonight, Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs>
load that they carry, but I serve a God that's in this place tonight. Amen. I feel his presence. I feel his power. And I want his will to be done in our hearts and in our lives. The altars are open. If you need to find your way to the front of this church tonight and call out to God, you need to move right now. If you need to get a hold of God for a situation in your life, move right now. Lord, thank you for troubling the waters. Thank you for moving in our midst. Thank you for hearing our cry at 530. Lord, and shallow and showering us with your presence in this place tonight. Hallelujah. Praise your mighty name. Lord, I know that you're able tonight. Lord, I know that you're able tonight, Jesus. Thank you for that marvelous grace, Lord. Thank you for that marvelous grace tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your touch in our midst tonight. Thank you, Lord, for the power and the presence of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that still washes away our sin. Thank you, Lord, for sanctifying power. Thank you, Lord, for the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire in our hearts and in our lives tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for the grace tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Push all the way through tonight, church. Push all the way through tonight, child of God. Don't leave this place the way you came. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise your mighty Praise your mighty name to Jesus. Praise your mighty name to Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah to that, Jesus. Hallelujah to that, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah tonight, Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Lord, just move in our midst tonight, Jesus. Move in our midst tonight, I pray, Holy Ghost. God, that one that needs a touch from you, Lord, more than ever before, move in their life now, I pray. Sing this with us tonight, Grace.
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Spirit of God, for who you are tonight. Thank you, Lord, for your touch tonight. Thank you, Lord, for your touch tonight, God. Thank you, Lord, for when we need you, Lord, you're available. God, when we need a touch of your power and of your presence, you're always right on time. Touch us tonight, Jesus. Touch us tonight, Holy Ghost. Touch us tonight, Holy Ghost. Touch us tonight, Spirit of God. Touch us tonight, Spirit of God. Praise your mighty name, Jesus. Praise your mighty name tonight, Jesus. Praise your mighty name tonight, Jesus. Praise your mighty name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah tonight, Holy Ghost. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you. Minister to the hearts and lives of those that are crying out to you tonight. Lord, from the front door all the way to the pulpit tonight, Lord, minister. God, as we cry out to you tonight, have your way in this place, we pray. Hallelujah. Lord, Strengthen tonight, Spirit of God. Strengthen tonight, Spirit of God. Strengthen tonight, Spirit of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to sing this old hymn knowing, and we'll see where the Lord takes us from there. I feel His presence in this place tonight. Amen. And there's nothing like just being in His presence. He knows what we need. He knows when we need it. He knows how we need it. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. They'll put it up on the screen for you. Simply entitled Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound. Saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Can you say amen for that tonight? Just worship tonight. If you haven't received what you need from the Lord, I believe he's in this place tonight. If you'll just reach out and You'll just get a hold of him if you'll cry out to him. I believe he met us here at 5.30. Amen. I believe uh, the atmosphere changed when we come together for prayer. And I know if we'll continue to do that, God will continue to meet us. In church, we need it more than ever before, more than we've ever needed a touch of the Spirit of God in our life. Uh, we need it in this place tonight. Amen. Our world needs it. Not only our world, but our churches. Our church world needs it tonight. And I'm thankful for who He is. Uh, let's just worship together. And if you need something from the Lord, why don't you step out of that pew and come down to this altar. Make an altar on these front rows, and we'll pray with you. Believing that God's able. Sing this tonight, Amazing Grace. And, uh, amen. Sing grace, how sweet the sound that has saved a wretch like me. Oh, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. Oh, how precious that grace appeared the hour I first believed. Through many dangers, tools, and snares, I have, I have already come. Oh, tis grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace we. 
shining as the sun. Oh, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, oh praise God, hallelujah tonight, hallelujah sweet presence of the Holy Ghost, oh let's sing it again, praise God. Praise God, 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 oh praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah for that tonight, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah tonight, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah tonight, Lord Jesus. Father, we love you tonight. God, I'm just overwhelmed with your presence in this place. And I believe you minister to those that have called upon you tonight. God, I believe you've met with those, God, that have come with an attitude and a desire to worship. Father, I believe you've come tonight and ministered to us, Lord. And God, I'm thankful for it. God, never want to replace the Holy Ghost with anything that's man-made or counterfeit. But, Lord, I want a, a true experience, Lord, a divine touch of your power and of your presence. And, Lord, I thank you for meeting with us in this place tonight. I thank you for being with us, God. And, Lord, I don't know that we can even put into words what's happening around some of these, some of these lives tonight around this sanctuary. But, Lord, uh, I believe the Holy Ghost of heaven has, Lord, ushered himself into this place on the wings of praise of your people. God, I believe the Holy Ghost of heaven itself, Lord, has come tonight and allowed us to feel his presence and to be evident in our service tonight, Lord, and I'm thankful for that tonight. Hallelujah! Strengthen us tonight, Holy Ghost. Strengthen us tonight, Holy Ghost. Strengthen us tonight, Spirit of God, I pray. God, every family, every need that's represented, Lord. Lord, every discouraged soul tonight, I pray that you'll touch us in a special way. Strengthen us tonight, I ask, Holy Ghost. We'll forever give you praise and honor and glory for it all. Lovely name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in His presence. He is a good God, church. Hallelujah. I'm not going to keep you long. I believe the Holy Ghost has already talked to us. I do want to read this one, maybe the whole chapter, but this passage. Thank you, Spirit of God. You feel a sweet presence tonight, church? Mm. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I wouldn't trade it for all the wealth, wealth uh, all the riches or wealth of men. I wouldn't trade it for any other place tonight I'd rather be but right here in His presence. I encourage you when we seek His face. We dedicate time to call upon Him and ask Him to meet us. I'm hoping through these through these called times of prayer at 5:30. I'm hoping that that some of us who have been taught it in the past will remember that when we pray, God moves. For some of you that have maybe not been 
around the church a long time it'll help you to realize that if you'll just take that time and be dedicated not just on Sunday afternoons but Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and you'll come together corporately and you'll come together privately in your prayer closet and you'll call out he will hear and he will answer and I tell you I wouldn't trade it for anything amen allow me to read to you tonight I won't keep you long because I believe the Holy Ghost has already ministered to us but as I was in the office this afternoon this passage it's a psalm psalms number 73 has challenged me I only gave them a few verses of it today for the scriptures tonight and I may read the whole thing if you have your Bibles you may want to go there Psalms number 73 I'll give you just a moment because they will not have it all on the screen tonight thank you Holy Ghost truly God is good to Israel even to such as are of a clean heart aren't you thankful for that tonight but listen to what this psalmist says. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish. And I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, and their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt. They speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore his people return hither, and the waters of a cup, of a full cup, are wrung out to them. And they say, How doth God know? And is their knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches, verily. I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. For all the day long I have been plagued and chastened every morning. Let me read the rest of it to you. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Till I went into the sanctuary of God. Then I then understood I therein. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction. How they are brought into desolation as in a moment. They are utterly consumed with terror. As a dream when one awaketh, so the Lord. When thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by the right hand. Are you thankful for that tonight? Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed them all that go a-whoring from thee, but it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the, in the Lord God that I may declare all thy afternoon in the office as I was preparing looking over things for tonight I said Lord more than anything through this time of prayer that we're coming together every Sunday night this month through the events and through the ministries of this church let us not look outside with our spiritual glasses and say oh what's going on in the world is it seeming that they're better than we are but let us remember that there will come a day that they that are far from thee, the psalmist says, shall perish. Thou hast destroyed them all that go whoring from thee. But listen to what he said in verse 28. Now we're going to pray after this. But it is good for me to draw near to God. It is good for us, church, to draw near to God privately in our prayer time, privately in our home, and corporately as a church. It is good for us to draw near to God. Psalmist said, I have put my trust in the Lord God 
that I may declare all his works. Tonight I believe God has called us, called us to a season of prayer. Say, Pastor, you just put it on the calendar. No, I, I remember planning these five Sundays in July for a time of prayer, and I know it's summer, and in summer some churches will slow down just a little bit because people are on vacation. I said, Lord, those that are on vacation, I trust that they're in church when it comes time, but there's still those of us that will be right here in Okoe, and I want God to move in summer just like he does in spring and fall. Can you say amen? Say, God, summer's no time for us to back up. But it's a time for us to strap the boots a little bit tighter and say, God, I'm going to push forward to that that you have for us. The psalmist has encouraged us in verse 28 to draw near to God. To draw near to God. Here's how we're going to close service tonight. It's a little early. That's good. That's fine. We're going to pray. Say, Pastor, we prayed before service. We're going to pray again. Because I know many of you, I know your lives, I know what you're facing. You shared with me in times past, and I believe all of us could use a touch of the Lord again tonight. I believe all of us could, could benefit from drawing nigh unto Him one more time. Say, Pastor, the Spirit of God has already moved in this place. He has, and we're thankful for that. But I don't want to leave this place without one more time saying, God, let me be like the psalmist, and let me have a desire to draw nigh unto thee. Sister Wendy, would you come? I don't want any other musicians except the keyboard. I want it soft and I want it prayerful. And I know we can't gather around the front of this church because of the VBS setup. And there's enough of us tonight. I believe all of us could find us a place right in that pew. Make that your altar. And you pray until God releases you. And when you're done praying, you can consider yourself dismissed. Now let's don't just lay and say a little two or three minute prayer and say, oh, I prayed. No, let's one more time get a hold of God. And let's say, God, move in our families, move in our church, move in our church world, move in our nation. Most of all, move in my life and make me the man or make you the man or the woman God has called you to be. Would you find you a place to pray around this altar tonight? And after that, we'll have a time of fellowship. Let's not, let's not pray quick. Let's pray until we hear from the Lord tonight.
Lord, I want to draw near to you in this place one more time. God, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for drawing us to an altar of prayer again tonight. Lord, I still believe prayer changes things. Lord, it's not the only thing I can do. It's what I should do. Lord, it's not a last resort. It should be the first thing that we do in our life is call upon you in a time, in a season of prayer. Lord, the psalmist said, it is good for me to draw near to God. Lord, and I want to do that tonight by calling upon you. Lord, by seeking your face, by crying out to you. Hear my prayer tonight. Hear us tonight. Oh, Oh, hear us, Lord, tonight, I pray. Lord, let us be like Elijah. Let us be, Lord, not wavering in our stance. Let us not, Lord, waver between two opinions. But, Lord, let us make up our mind to live holy, dedicated, consecrated to God tonight. Let us, Lord, be able to live as you lead us, as you guide us, and you direct us. Draw us tonight, I pray. Draw us tonight, I pray. Lord, in that that the enemy has brought against us in our lives, in our homes, in our jobs. Lord, that that the enemy, the confusion. God, the unsettled finances. God, the family issues. That that the enemy's trying to get us off track with. Lord, that that he is meant for evil. We know, God, that you've meant it for good. Lord, for we know that all things work together for the good to them that love you. Those that are called according to your purpose, lead us tonight, I pray. Keep us in an atmosphere of prayer. Lord, privately this week, let us call upon you. Lord, and bring us back Saturday night, Lord, as we corporately call upon you again. God, this church needs you. Lord, this church needs to hear from heaven itself. Lord, we need you to move in every aspect, God. You know this pastor's heart. You know what I've laid at the altar of God. You know what I've asked you, Lord, to direct us in. God, and I'm asking again publicly tonight that you will move in your church. God, that you will lead us and guide us and direct us. Thank you for the genuine move of the power and the presence of the Holy Ghost. God, don't ever, don't let ever let us settle for less. Don't ever let us compromise the gospel. Don't ever let us, God, Order it down to man's approval. But let us be hungry. Let us run after you. Let us have a desire to be near you. For the psalmist said it is good if we be near God. Strengthen us now. Go with us to a time of fellowship. Bless the food there to our body. Bless those that are working on campus tonight. Keep them safe, Lord. And what I just pray, Lord, for a great spiritual move in VBS this week. God, that hearts and lives will be touched. Lord, and we'll forever give you praise and honor and glory for it. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for Calvary. Thank you for redemption power. Looking forward, looking forward. Jesus calling us home. Forever be grateful for it. In the name of Jesus we pray tonight. And the church said amen. And amen. Do you feel better tonight? Do you feel like you've been in church tonight? Oh, Pastor, we, we didn't have a message with three points and a poem. No, we don't need a message with three points and a poem. We need a touch of the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us tonight. For those that are going to the fellowship event, we'll see you there. For those that are staying, God bless you for working. For those that are not going to either, we'll see you back throughout the week. Fine, be with us for VBS, but if we don't see you this week, we'll see you Saturday night for prayer at 6 o'clock. And then Sunday morning, and I'm asking you to please do your very best to be with us next Sunday night and next Monday night uh, for Bishop Tim Hill, Dr. Hill. He was with us in November. He blessed us, and I'm looking forward to a great time in the Lord again. Uh, If if Jesus tarries, if Jesus comes, I'm out of here. But if Jesus tarries, uh, then we'll be here next Sunday, all three services, and next Monday night. God bless you tonight. You are dismissed.